a very pleasant good night my beloved brothers and sisters in christ and outside the body of christ well once again this is your christian brother eric braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country trinidad and, trinidad and tobago the land of my nativity the land of my birth trinidad and tobago this wonderful island country of course that is in the blue caribbean sea in this part four in this part four video i eric braxton this little christian boy this little christian child eric braxton way down in trinidad and tobago i reminding you all in this part four video and the title of this part video from one to four white and black that this big this discussion that is taking place in the united states of america amongst the intellectuals amongst the the um the professors and researchers, white researchers and black researchers, concerned that are concerned that the topic whether the Messiah, whether he was a white Messiah or a black Messiah, and whether the first people that God created, Adam and Eve, whether they came from Africa and whether they was white or black. That debate they're having on CBS News, on the network CBS News, on Fox News, on the television, on the radio in the streets and in the temples i eric braxton will have be having no debate with none of will not be engaging himself in none of these debates brothers and sisters i will be staying from the side on the sideline as a sp spectator listening all the discussion what they are saying and then i will make my comment on that and that's exactly what i'm doing in these these videos because they are only discussing white or black, whether Christ is white or whether he's black. You all are limiting God and you all are not even conscious of it. God possesses all colors and he can manifest himself as white, black, green and all the different colors. And whether the first people he created Adam and Eve was white or black or green or, green or yellow or pink, I accept that. So with that knowledge that dwells in my heart and mind and soul, is no need for I to get myself or gauge myself in any of these debates because I is not limiting God you see the color white and black doesn't exist it have other color beyond white and black brown yellow pink and green but nobody on CBS or CNN or Fox or in the streets or these with these these groups these different african groups who are claiming to be natural black jews who are claiming to be from the 12 tribes of israel who are claiming to be the natural hebrew israelites none of them are saying you know you know the messiah jesus christ was a was a pink god was a yellow god the only sticking white and black well eric braxton is not sticking with, with white and black eric braxton already seen and let me remind you all I said this in another video and I'm saying that in this video, when Jesus Christ come again, whether he come as a white God, I accept that. Whether as a black God, I accept that. Whether as a pink or a yellow and a gray and a blue God, I accept that. Because whatsoever he color, he come back this time, he manifests himself. We human beings will have to accept that and buy with that. And there's nothing we could do about that. Why? Why is nothing we could do about that? If Jesus Christ come back to this earth as a pink God, a lot, and that will be a big surprise to us. Why? Because the discussion is white and black. You all expect him to come back as a white God or a black God. But if he comes as a, as a pink God, and that will be a big surprise to you all. That will not be a surprise to me. Because all colors come from God. So that will be a surprise to me. When I already know he can manifest himself in all colors. I'm using that so you all will grasp the principle that God can manifest himself in any color. So I already expected him to come back as a blue god. I already expected him to come back as a white god. I already expected him to come back as a black god. I already expected him to come back as a pink god. So whatsoever he come back as, that is not a surprise to me. Because I already said he possess all colors. But none of you all are thinking that way. And I, Eric Braxton, are think, teaching you all to think that way. And adopt that right attitude. So with all, all your fancy... um prestige discussion on CBS and Fox and the different networks I don't have no part in, in, the, in that discussion you all have in because at the end of the day frankly all all you are wasting is wasting time 
I am not doing no research or having any discussion whether God, what color God is. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, because whatsoever color he is, I accept that. Brothers and sisters, what is more important, brothers and sisters? I want you all, you all could do that individually, or two person, three person, four person, or five person, or 20 person forming different committees in all the different nations of the earth who will happen to see this video on YouTube and the, on the internet and the World Wide Web. You all form different committees, both white people and black people. Or if you all want to do it in white groups or in black groups, doesn't matter. And you all raise funds, you all raise money. You all open a bank account or you open it in credit union or whatsoever financial institution. When that money has built up to a certain level, whether 20,000, whether 50,000, all you withdraw that money and all you buy material, all you buy tanks, all you buy wood, all you buy galvanize, all you buy medicine, all you buy clothing, and go and help poor people in Africa, all you ship that material now and bring it to poor peoples in community in Africa and help build huts for them, build concrete structure for them, build medicine for them. The, 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 the women, the children that are running around naked, all they bring clothing to clothe them properly. To the poor, pe poor people in different African countries who is in object poverty, bring that relief to them, both physically. And those tribes in South America, up to this day, are running around naked. They put the women vaginas outside, the testicles outside the men. They are not clothed properly. Go and help them out. And not only those, the Aborigines in, in, in um, Australia, bring that help to them. And, not, and also in the city, the vagrants that is on the street, those who are living under the, in the tunnel, those who are sleeping on the street on the cardboard, and the different poor people in the different communities that need help. Use that money and help these poor people, these people that need help. Visit senior citizen home. See that they have medicine. See that they have um. They have medicine. Um, when you all go, you all will ask, um, assess the need, and use that fund to buy things that will to the uh, to supply that need. That raising that money and putting what I teaching you all in practice is more important to find out whether God is white or whether God is pink or whether to find out this first set of people you create was white or black or trying to find out whether the Egyptian was white people or black people you all think that is important and I know you all having these debates with five with black professors on the side white professors on the side with the with the white research and the black research and you all having that prestige discussion and you all think you all having that uh, well you all that you all are saying is a, a very important discussion you all are having a very prestigious um, discussion you all having to find out the origin of all the first set of people, whether they was blacks, whether they was Nubians, or whether where, where white people come from. Brothers and sisters is one human race. And the, where the white man come from, the black man come from the same place. And you know where is that place? All the human family come from one place. Yes, the white man come from the same place that the black man come from. Where is that place? God. Yes. The whole human family come from one place. The mind of God. From the heart of God. Did the human family originate from? You all didn't know that? Uh -huh. You all think the human family originate in Africa? No. The human family originate from the mind of God. Ah, is anyone teaching you all that? Well, I know the true saints in the body of God is teaching you all that. Well, I, Eric Brooks, and this little Christian boy, this little Christian child, way down in Trinidad and Tobago, is teaching you all that fact. So it's time for you all to wake up and act properly. The human family come from the mind of God, from the heart of God. Because don't you know when God 
was about to create a human family was a thought that he had in his mind to create a human family so it come from the mind of God and the heart of God they were the human family originated from you all get it right now uh-huh a lot of you all do know that well I work back so I'll make sure that you all get it right and that's why I'm teaching you all the right thing well I've come to the end of this part 4 video may the grace of God be with you all and with the human family from this day forth forevermore. Shalom peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye bye my friends.